All right, so let me welcome you once again to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for always having time with me over here, checking up on my YouTube channel. As usual, we are always ready to assist and support when it comes to uh, major tutorials and then also discovering talent across uh, the African continent and young and successful entrepreneurs, having time speaking with them, listening from them and getting to know uh, their success story. And today, as part of what I've been doing over here for you, we're actually going straight forward to talk about why we are here at this very time. And we are going to learn on uh, learn about how to check um, whether our SNIT number is merged successfully with the Ghana card number. Yes. So I am going to take you through how to actually check if your SNIT number is merged with your Ghana card or your NIA number. And this is very important, especially for government workers. If you're a government worker or if you're a private worker, but you contribute via um, the SNIT platform, then it's very important uh, to you as well. And so first of all, uh, there are multiple ways, multiple ways of checking if your Ghana card is merged with your um, SNIT number. And so we're going to use the first method, and that is by the use of the short code. And so the short code straight away is star seven one one star nine ash then after typing your short code i'm going to use this one the first sim okay so it depends on you um, either of your sims you can use them and so i am sending it right away so you the pop-up will show straight away that's the pop-up say welcome to sssnit that's your snake ussd that's official ussd the first one is to merge, the second one is to check the status, and the third one, employer contribution payment, and the fourth, self-employed payment, and the fifth, generate. But for the sake of the studies for today, we actually go to select the option two, check major uh, status. So we have selected option two, and then now you are asked to enter your SNIT or Ghana card number. So either of them, you can enter either your SNIT number or your Ghana card, but don't enter the two at the same time all right so now i'm going to enter my snake number over here yes that is what i'm inputting over there and so you carefully need to enter your snit uh, number it depends as i've already said either your snit or your ghana card number now i am done entering the number so i um, select or uh, press on the send button over here so i click on send now, you see, there is a message on the screen now. Let's get time, dive into it over here. Now, you see, major status. Your major status has been sent to your email. That is, uh, for the sake of security, that's why they uh, they didn't caption or capture all the um, digits over there. So, I, I am straight away going to check for my email. Don't forget, you just had a beep over there. Yes, because I'm going to check my mail if they have sent it. So what it means is that if you have merged successfully, you're going to receive this message. But it's unfortunate if you've not, your number is not merged successfully, you are not going to see this at this point. Okay, you're going to get a different notification message that your SNIT number isn't merged with your Ghana card. But those who are able to see this definitely your two numbers are linked together so the next thing is to press on okay over here and then we go to our email um, and then we check all right so this is my email over here all right so i click on that great so you see the message is displaying over there all right and that says that your um ss that's your SNIT number and NIA number major status over there. You see? Okay, so now we are going to click on this to actually find out the actual message that is sent. Great. So now SS number and NIA uh, major um, status. Okay, so hi, uh, hello, Emmanuel. Your Ghana card number, that, that is the number over there in the bracket, has been merged with your SNIT number 
also over there in the bracket. If you didn't initiate the merger, please visit the nearest net branch or call or email us at blah, blah, blah. So that's exactly the steps that you need to pass through to check if your Ghana card is merged successfully with your SNIT number. Okay, so this means that mine is merged successfully over here. And so if you pass through this process and you get a notification that your number isn't merged successfully, please, you need to um, take time and merge it. Don't forget, I shall actually come your way once again with the process or the steps to pass through to merge your Ghana card with your SNIT using your phone these some of these things you shouldn't uh, let anyone take money from you before the person does it for you it's very simple you can just use your phone to do all of these and so to be able to get a subsequent uh, tutorials over here on my channel please take some few seconds click on the subscribe button over there don't forget immediately you finish clicking on the subscribe button there's going to be a notification bell over there click on the bell and then you select all so that whenever there is an update over here whenever there is a publication over here you will be the first person to get a notification on your phone and have access to it so that is it it's very simple don't forget the short code that is the star 711 star uh, 9 hash yes and then you send and then you select option 2 that is to check your major um, status and then you will be asked to enter either your Ghana card or your SNIT number over there. Clearly look at your Ghana card or your SNIT number and enter it as it is. Okay. Enter it uh, as it is on your card. If you have it off it, fine. If you don't have it off it, you should try to get the number um, before you type or you dial the short code and then right after that you get a pop-up on your phone either it's successful or not but if it's successful it wouldn't tell you after the pop-up the only thing it will tell you that a message has been sent your status has been sent via your email there are some of you you don't have access to your email that means maybe you have lost um, your either your password or you have missed something over there don't forget I will actually come along once again with a tutorial on how to uh, recover your lost password. Okay, some people have lost their password and so they cannot have access to it. Don't forget this one. To be able to know your status, it will be sent to your email. And so if you have lost your email's password, it means you may not be able to have access to it. Unless maybe you visit the office you get it and so as i come your way once again with that tutorial for you to know how to also retrieve your password for your email address and so once again don't forget to click on the subscribe button and be part of this wonderful family and you can also check on the categories over there there are a lot of discoveries over here talented discoveries and then also um, speaking with young entrepreneurs successful young entrepreneurs across the country you can check and learn something out of it and not only that beautiful and um i mean historic places across the country to be capturing all of them discovering all of them for you to also have access to them and then as we just did today some it tutorials over here as well and so you can check up over there at the category section and get to watch your favorite ones thank you once again and god bless you for having time over here don't forget you can also um, like the video you can share it and if you have any question that's the most important part if you have any question if there's something bothering you if you follow this process and you're facing any challenge please do well to place your um, question at the comment section and i will gladly assist you on that thank you so much see you next time have a wonderful day